Aloha, Sunday, February 26th, 2023. It was another rainy weekend in Honolulu, Hawaii this week. I fed the street cats each morning and I live streamed myself doing it on TikTok at 4.20 a.m. I made sure to have my flashlight fully charged. My selfie stick was giving me problems, so I ended up having to use my backup selfie stick. I brought the kitties tuna on Saturday. It was a big treat for them. They hadn't had tuna in a while. It was a tuna Saturday. I fed Kirk and PK and Scared Orange on both Saturday and Sunday, although I didn't live stream it on Sunday. If you want to catch me live, 4.20 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time is the only guaranteed time I'll be live. Everything else is just extra credit. During my bike ride on Sunday, I ran into another cat feeder, Kendra, and I made a couple videos with her. I showed her the new TikTok teen filter that's all the rage with the kiddos now. I guess it's actually more popular with the adults because they can see how they used to look. She was pretty impressed. I fed a few, uh, I feed a handful of street cats every day and I make interesting videos and keep my live streams entertaining with my personality and my jokes. But feeders like Kendra and her friend Linda dedicate even more of their time and money to helping these street cats. They don't get the credit they deserve and I don't deserve all the credit. I just wanted to point that out. They feed more cats and have more spayed and neuters and they've been doing it longer than I have too. I do this every day and I'm really proud of myself. I try to keep my 4.20 a.m. cat feeding streams under an hour for editing reasons. And I end each stream with a prayer. I get down on one knee with the street cats and I thank God for giving us another day together and protecting them and me from this dangerous world. I like to think that some of the good people watching and they're watching in good faith and good fortune and some of that also rubs off on them too. It's dangerous out there on this street at 4 a.m. on Friday or Saturday or every day. At one point this weekend, I think it was on Friday, I was startled by two men at the abandoned house. These guys look like they just came from Michael Jackson's 1980s video, Beat It. They were dressed for the street, so to speak. One of them came right up close to me to see what I was doing. He bent down and looked at the cat food, and he said, Oh, you're just feeding the cats. Yes, I said, I feed them every day at this time. I imagine there was a, a tinge of fear in my voice, but the man didn't say anything, and that was the end of our conversation. He got up and left. I was live on TikTok at the time, and I looked at the chat to see if they saw what I saw. You handled that well, somebody commented in the chat. Well, be careful, Mr. G. It's dangerous out there, somebody else said. I've come to realize that the live stream can actually act as protection. I used to think that it put a target on my back, that it made people attack me. That's how I was trained to think when I started live streaming four years ago. But now I'm using the live stream and my phone to my advantage. It's a witness and it doesn't lie and it, it keeps track of things. It keeps track of cats and it keeps track of what I'm doing every day. And that's very important. I've been feeding these street cats every morning for over three years now. It's something I'm very proud of. I've found many of them homes and I've taken in some myself. Uh, it's something, it's not an easy job. It's heavy on the heart and it's not something that I would recommend for everybody. You got to be the right type of person to feed cats. You basically have to dislike humans. No, not necessarily, but you have to be a strong person, especially to feed on this street. Uh, the majority of feeders wouldn't be able to feed this street, especially at this time. It's dangerous. I'm, you know, tall and I'm a tough guy. I've been through a lot in my life. If you want to learn more about me, I encourage you to check out my book from your local public library. It's called Gonzo Education. You can find it online as well. It's a very highly rated book. It starts when I drop out of high school and it ends when I graduate from one of the top journalism schools in the United States, the University of Texas in Austin. It's something I'm really proud of and I'm sure you'll enjoy it as well. Thanks for watching today, and check out the live streams with me and the kitties every day at 4.20 a.m. live on TikTok. Uh, it's been going really good. I appreciate all the viewers that we've had, um, everybody that's uh, donated roses and really contributes to the price of cat food. And also, um, I would encourage you to follow me on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Also, you can get a link to my book uh, through my link tree, which there's a link in my website. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. You're on a winning team here if you're on the side with me and the Street Cats. We're going down in history. Aloha. Have a good one, guys. See you tomorrow.